I found this was going to be the end of my day and just go to bed right now, but uh, I'm going to watch some cartoons and have some milk. And it's a bizarre feeling. It's a, I, I don't necessarily understand it, but I've, nev I've never really understood it to begin with, so uh, it's not any worse than it was before, it's just that it's different now. Why it's different, I don't necessarily know. The, the one was <laughs> lost for words, lost for explanation. This is kind of the nature of things. This is, I was watching um, the Yowie vlogs today. I, I, I always do my YouTube stroll and I go along the path from the Yowie vlogs to It's Our Life and from It's Our Life to the Leroy's from Leroy's to. Uh, our Family Nest, and from Our Family Nest to Family 5 vlog, and then finally the end point is Clintus. And then I have my off path, the, the side paths. And the eye vlogs, uh, the ending point was done by Sarah, the mother, and talking about uh, how she judges people, how she sort of interacts and makes sense of, sense of people in terms of her likes and dislikes, and the thing is, is that they they have a good message. I mean, they have a very good message, you know, not to sort of judge people like that, you know, but based on you know who their characteristics are. But sometimes, people, even if if there isn't a characteristic there that that doesn't that that, that bother, there isn't a characteristic that's sort of bothering to you or, or annoying. It uh, doesn't necessarily mean it, uh, people are going to like you. Uh, people Sometimes the reason is that there is no reason. <laughs> Just sometimes people aren't good fits. They don't... They're, they... They don't fit well as companions. Uh, there is something to be said about personality in terms of how each personality and the experiences they have are called the peers. Uh, peers are based on experience and people with similar experiences will, will become very good peers. Those without good experiences, without, with, 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 without if, the, if the experiences are extremely different, well, it may not make good peers. I mean, even, even to the point where uh, people are engaged to be married, and I've seen this before, people are engaged to be married, and in one instance, the career suddenly changes for one, another person, so that they end up going in two different paths, well, that, that could spell the end of the uh, relationship, even though that they're engaged to be married, they, everything has been more or less finalized, and just, well, at this point in time, uh, we're going our separate ways, and uh, that's the end of our plans. And and, and, and I've seen this happen. I've, I've, I've seen uh, where people who were engaged to be married, all of a sudden, something popped into their mind, and it was no longer. And the thing is, is we, I, I've had people ask me, well, how do you make sense of this? And the answer is you don't. Because people work off emotions. Emotions are not logical. And more often than not, the emotion trumps and pushes how we think. I mean, emotion is very a very, very powerful driver in our, our understanding of the world and, and sometimes it's not an issue of explaining something logically or why doesn't someone understand the logic behind behind something it's an issue of how they feel if there's a lot of fear there and then the fear is going to drive the way they see things and so it's not an issue of worth or anything like that it's an issue of emotion it's an issue of how do you feel about something? And the logic will uh, will more often not will not triumph over the emotion of how you feel. And that's going to be the driver. Anyways, uh, this is the beginning of the very long uh, weekend vlog. Uh, uh, we'll try to I'll try to balance out my vlogs here more a little bit better. But I think I have lost one of these. Uh, uh, e-scooter vlogs, I'm not too sure whether I have or haven't. I've got to sort of check and make sure and see whether or not it's there. I think one of the, thing, one of the files didn't transfer properly, so we'll see what ends up happening there.
And I also have to learn how to uh, speak uh, because the vibration of the motor is a little loud uh, on the bike, so I have to speak at a higher volume. <laughs> One of the hazards of uh, vlogging outside. I think that uh, once we get a little further on, I'm going to have to take out the visor. It's a sun visor, but the sun has already gone down. So right now it's not... Well, it's okay, but it's just, I don't need it for the sun. And uh, in the beginning part here, my eyes tear up, so... Better than before. About to get to a, a below a certain speed, you have to put your feet down to uh, prevent the bike from tipping over. <coughs> Basically, the properties of a, of a scooter and a bike are that of the gyroscope. You don't actually turn the bike itself. What you do is you lean, and, 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 and depending on how you work the uh, the forces of torque, uh, that's what uh, allows you to sort of do well on the bike. So here we're going to start off again. One foot on, waiting for the green. Here we go. A little shaky. Let me start off here. Sometimes because the switch is electrical, it doesn't always click in and so the motor doesn't actually go. And so you have to press it again and I said there's a bit to learn. I said the more I scoot, the more uh, I'll learn, so I'll be a better. Uh, I'll get better at this. This is a matter of practice. I thought for a minute there, I have, uh, for a while there today, that I had lost some of the footage. And then I re-looked at some of the footage I sort of uh, offloaded just recently. And I realized I didn't lose the footage. Uh, it's there, I just sort of mislabeled it and sort of wasn't uh, where I was expecting. So, uh, it will be in the, vi the video. I, th I think I've... I've fixed it up. I've got to sort of go over my footage and see, or see what I recorded and what I didn't in terms of what I've already posted. Uh, I know there's something for the 19th, but uh, I'm not too sure whether I've put it up or not. Yeah, that's September 19th. We're still on. There's a sewer cover you can see. Sunglasses work. You know, this is a sun visor. To protect your eyes from the sun, particularly now it's on low on the horizon, but it uh, it affects how you see things, and sometimes you don't see things the way you should, and uh, that causes a bit of a problem because uh, if you don't see things properly, uh, you'll miss uh, divots and stuff like that. You need to avoid in order to sort of <laughs> things that things are riding better. 
they were before. Uh, the new seat is, is definitely a bonus. The springs on the seat make it a much more comfortable. I can handle the bumps a lot better. I'm not being thrown around as much. So the bumps don't bother me as much. Twitch is still an issue. My body is still kind of twitchy and uh, that's not a good thing when you need the balance. Much straighter, more smooth ride. But you'll kinda, you kind of sort of watch the video, right? You've seen the, the, the bumps that go over. This is uh, what's in the road. And of course, when you have the wind, Louder, louder. Here's the bus right behind me. You can hear the air brakes. Coming to McNichol now. And my nose is running. But I can't do anything about it now because uh, both hands on the wheel. When you're, when you're passing a scooter or something like that, or something slower moving, slower moving vehicle, you need to give the person an entire lane. You need to move over that lane. Don't try to squeeze by. Because it's nerve-wracking enough just being on the scooter like this. Uh, when you're in a car, it, you, you're a lot more comfortable because you're safer. So you need to give the person the room who's on the scooter. Because there is a bit of nerves involved in this. But, uh, Anyways, I'm doing the 25 kilometers now. This is this new standard. I'm not comfortable enough yet to put it up to uh, 30 kilometers. Uh, the maximum is 55, but the maximum on the road here is 50. So uh, that's going to be an issue. <laughs> in terms of it's going to be time. Because I have to ride this in the winter, I'm going to be riding this in the winter as long as there's no snow on the ground. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge. Uh, I do have a ski mask for it. Something like a ski mask, a, a, a sort of a, a, a really nice balaclava. Buildings create a large chunk of the wind. What we have is a wind tunnel effect. Feet down? No, I can wet my nose. Uh. I got rid of the mirrors I had on here. They didn't really work that well. You could uh, well, see, you can't glance that. You take, you can't take that long to look at things. You have to be so focused on the road. So let's get going. Let's head over to the next lights.
It was successfully at the next lights. This is Finch. Uh, it's not turned. Oh, here we go. It's green again now. Lights are on. Lights can be a problem. The problem with the lights is that uh, it doesn't recognize the scooter. So if someone has to go over to the side and press the walk button. Dark to the ride with the visor, so 
And I might lose it, it comes off. Looking to the left and making sure there's no traffic coming. Cars parked. On the side, you have to sort of share the road. There's barely enough room for one lane. So, looking both ways is a uh, good caution. Yeah. 